Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan, and I hope you lot are all doing well. And welcome back to another video, which is on Should Chelsea Consider buying Hakim Sayek or Hakim Sayesh. Sayesh? Sayek. You know what I'm talking about. I will learn the correct pronunciation. Chelsea are interested in buying wingers. They have confirmed interest in players like Zaha and Sancho, but should they be considering Zayesh? Because he's awesome and I'm going to tell you why in this video. Before I do, let me explain to you why you should check out Football Index, the stock market for buying and selling footballers. If you fancy yourself to know a little bit about the beautiful game, check out Football Index, a place where you can buy players and if they perform well, their share price will increase and you profit. Players can even pay out when they score or assist or do well in the media. Football Index is really awesome, you should definitely check it out, especially if you know your football. Click in the link at the top of the description and remember you have to be over 18 to use the platform. And subscribe to Football Therapy if you're new to the channel. Hit the bell notifications icon, like the video, all that lark. Now let's get into it. The Dutch Moroccan 26 year old is an incredibly talented footballer winger slash inside forward creative player very good at dead ball situations good at creating goals scoring goals loads of stuff he was one of the few world class players that was not taken away from Ajax last season after their fairy tale Champions League run Zajic is proven at a very very high level now and he's at the ripe age of 26 and is probably about ready to give four or five years of the rest of his prime to a big club Zayic actually had a pile clause for about 25 million, which I think Ajax really quickly scrubbed away when they gave him a new contract. Because now, for this kind of level of player, you're looking at 50 million plus. We all know he performed really, really well last season for Ajax, and he was part of that great story, like I said. But how's he doing this season? Has he continued that on? Is he playing well? Well, let's get into that and open up the statistics page. Whoosh! All right then, how is Zayic doing in the league? Well, already this season, he has five goals and seven assists showing you that yes he definitely can score goals five goals is a very very good return but he is incredibly creative and if he plays in a creative forward thinking attacking team he will get a bunch of assists as he is always looking to feed his teammates this actually works out to a goal involvement every 73 minutes which obviously is a very 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 healthy return indeed for a winger Zayesh has already got four goal involvements in the Champions League as well with a goal and three assists and we're still not that deep into the group stages a few more statistics for you here a good barometer of creativity is obviously the key part Pass that. Zayesh is making 3.6 key passes in the league this season, which is very, very creative. Anything over 1.5 for a midfield is good. Anything over 2 for a creative player is good. 3.6 per game is excellent. Obviously, he's doing that in a very creative Ajax team with a lot of interchanging and, you know, they're a dominant force in their league. But provided you put him into another attacking team like Chelsea, I expect these numbers to stay the same. He's a very accurate passer as well with his long passes. He actually makes 4.5 long balls per game, accurate long balls. So he's very good at switching the play over the pitch if the passing channels in front of him are blocked off. So, he's, you know, the guy's got it all in terms of passing and creativity. And another little lovely stat for you, the guy's got four Man of the Match awards already this season. And remember, he is playing in a very creative team. So he's picking up a lot of the limelight still. So that's pretty impressive when you consider there's players like Tadic that scores a lot of goals in the Force 9. There's Donny van der Beek, who's excellent. There's David Neres, who's a very, very good player. There's a whole bunch of good players still in there. Right, that's enough of the stat statistics screen for a minute let's talk about the player a bit more so Hakim is relatively young at 26 he's at a ripe age where he could slot straight into most top starting 11s as a player he's not too young he's confident he's got a lot of experience and right now he's performing very very well and obviously there's no question in relation to his talent or ability the fact how he's doing it in the Champions League and has done it in the Champions League for a couple of seasons now shows that he has no issue with performing against high level opposition because obviously people might critique his superb stats and saying well he's playing in the Eredivisie in a good side Bazaar looks like he he can do it on the biggest stage. So, would I excel him? Yeah, probably. He's the other side of 25 now, and he'll bring in a lot, a lot of money now the buyout clause is gone. You know, they can ask 50, 60 million for this player, and Premier League clubs 
will pay for him. This is part of the IX model. They will survive. They'll bring through other good youngsters and they'll be happy they made a bunch of money and they'll probably still win the Eredivisie and have good Champions League runs. So say he's 60 million or 50 million. Should Chelsea Football Club buy him? Well, we know Frank Lampard would bolster his squad if the ban is lifted in January or certainly he's interested in bringing in players even if he has to wait till next summer. There is confirmed interest from Chelsea Football Club that they want a winger, hence looking at Zaha and Sancho. Obviously out of those two players, most people would say Sancho is the one to go for. Now the reason being Chelsea are looking for a winger is they play with two wingers all the time and obviously they play in a lot of competitions Chelsea so really you need four very capable wingers and as it stands they have Hudson-Odoi and Pulisic which you'd argue are the future in terms of fighting for those first team spots and you also have Willian and Pedro now Willian has actually been excellent of late and might be looking to get a contract extension at Chelsea but you do fancy Pedro to probably leave the club in either January or summer and Willian is very much a short-term solution now. So what, does Zayic come in and replace Pedro? But Pedro's not even playing at the moment, so really, this kind of purchase for this kind of player would expect to play all the time. The good thing about all these players is they're really, really versatile. They can move over to either flanks, and also they can play in number 10s. Certainly, Christian Pulisic can comfortably play number 10 right now. And even players like hudson Adoy, he can switch over and sl slot into the hole and play in the number 10. So provided all these players are that versatile and can play all along the three behind the striker or either flank, then really they'll have game time regardless. So say Pedro goes in January and maybe Willian goes in the summer or maybe next summer or Chelsea sell him after extending his contract just to make a few quid on him, then Zayic makes sense more or certainly buying a winger makes sense more. But will he fit into Frank Lampard's Chelsea? Absolutely, think about it. Look how Ajax played against Chelsea and how Chelsea played against Ajax. They're a very, very similar team in how they execute their game plan. They're very direct forward thinking and attacking. Chelsea, like Ajax, move the ball very, very quickly. So Ajax will be used to that and he will be wanting to move the ball quickly and do fast interchanging football. He's a creative player and wants to look for his teammates all the time and players like Tammy Abraham and Michy Batshuayi would absolutely love that. And now Chelsea's midfielders are scoring more and more and more goals, wide forwards coming in and offering assists or key passes. Chelsea as a team would only benefit greatly off that. So stylistically, it fits. And yes, he'd work. So would he come in in January? I'm not so sure. I think that might cost even more. And let's talk about the Champions League. Obviously, he's cup tied. So even if Chelsea do have the ban lifted in January, which is a little bit unlikely, but we're not sure yet. We'll have to wait until we see what Cass say. But Zayesh, I think that unless the rules have changed, they may have changed. He might be cup tied to playing in the Champions League with Ajax and then probably can't switch over to Chelsea. So what, do you play him in the Premier League and try and help him or use him to help you secure top four for definite and then play people like Christian Pulisic and hudson Adoy in the Champions League? It's a difficult one. The good ethos and positive philosophy about Frank Lampard's Chelsea is the fact how there's healthy competition in each spot. You're looking at people like hudson Adoy, who when he signed his new deal for Chelsea under Frank Lampard was probably thinking, alright, I'm going to be playing all the time. But Willian can't really be dropped at the moment from how well he's playing. Neither can Christian Pulisic, considering he's already scored five Premier League goals and hudson Adoy is waiting to score his and they've both got a couple of assists already. So Captain America is making it very difficult for hudson Adoy to get into the Premier League side at the moment. Imagine if Chelsea do sign a sort of high profile top tier winger like uh, Jadon Sancho or Hakim Zayek or someone. It's going to be really frustrating but maybe that's a good thing right? It would just have to force him to perform to the highest level regardless. Anyway what do you guys think? Do you think Chelsea should be looking at Hakim Zayek from Ajax? Do you think they should wait out and try and get Sancho? Or do you think they should just hold fire and not get a winger or think about a winger next summer? Get down in the comments and let me know your thoughts and opinions on this subject. If you have liked today's video guys, remember to like the video please and subscribe to the channel if you're new. You can also follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Twitter and Instagram. And a quick little plug to you guys, if you want to join the Football Therapy Discord server, you are welcome to. You click on the Patreon link down in the description, expand the description, read down a little bit, come join in, it costs a dollar and you can talk to me 
other members of the GOAT gang and subscribers and we talk about Chelsea Football Club and football generally 24 hours a day. So do come and join and check it out. Oh yeah, one final plug if you've stayed to this far in the video and if you have, I thank you viewer. Remember, subscribe to my sister channel, Yan Plays. It's where I play video games. I'm playing FIFA 20 at the minute. It's a load of fun. It's pretty funny, actually. But I will be playing all sorts of other video games, like The Last of Us 2, and just different Let's Plays. It's fun. It's pretty chill. Come check it out. Drop a subscribe, Yan Plays. All right, gang, that's it from me. I do hope you lot enjoy the football, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought Body bag the verse, outline the chalk In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby